Welcome back everyone to episode 2 of Fly vs Jerk 10. This is the second half of Archipelago Day and the teams just had their first phone report. So far, Team Giga.nu are holding the number point with 45 fish. Team Vision are holding the big fish point with their 9 kilo pike. And the top 5 point is held by Team Leech with a good 426 centimeters. Now let's roll out episode 2 of Fly vs Jerk 10. We actually have a good chance for two points today. Yeah, if we find these 90 plus centimeter fish, yeah, definitely. So hi everyone and welcome to Fly vs Jerk Season 10 Episode 2. Our result is that we have uh, two good fish. We're aiming for top five and we just need three more. And I, we're really gonna hope that uh, our biggest one, 9.02, is enough for the big fish point. Welcome. Vad fan! Åh, oh, kill me. Ja, vi är ju absolut sämst. Det är ingen snack om den saken. Ja, men samtidigt de här. De har fått, de har ja. fått 45 fisk. De går på numren. De har ju ett poäng nu har de ju, ja. i och för sig. De har bara 91 liksom. Alltså de har fått massor med små jädda. De har inte ens men, där. Men vad fan de här är någonstans alltså. Vi de kan vara hur nära som helst. Ja. Mm. Vi skiter i att äta, Victor. Åh, oh, fy fan alltså. Så, Manuel. Ja. Yeah. What is the plan for the rest of the day? Uh, I think we should uh, maybe go to another place because we're really close to the one that has 45 jigger. So I think we should go to another place and uh, look for more numbers and maybe catch a big fish also. Yeah. What do you think? We need to move on. Not uh, we fail uh, for the big fish in this one, so we need to rush and uh, make numbers and we know that we're gonna we're gonna have a big one in the middle so we need to increase the top five that's the goal yeah. for today so we have a tough morning but now we find some pike we have some strike so we know what we have to do we have to catch some long fish and uh, hopefully uh, catch the number as well but that's going to be really hard but it, it's possible, we have still some hours fishing, so let's find them. I think we have, we have the chance. Welcome to Fly vs Jerk episode 2. The launch report says that you know, it, it's, we're all in the game. So we're going to change a little bit of tactic right now and search for those so we can get around 450. Uh, we're still in the numbers game and uh, well, 9 kilo fish is hard to catch, but we're going to try anyway. Our goal is to beat the 902 fish. Uh, we have the longest, so we're still going to try to improve those. Uh, so uh, let's keep on hammering. And our plan is now to go further up where we started in the, in the morning. Because the wind uh, has changed now and it started to blow a little bit more. So that can be a big difference. So follow us. I think a nine kilo fish in the archipelago at this time of the year is a really big fish. That might give us a point, but it is, might also be one other team that can catch one. Uh, so we, we're definitely not safe, but we feel quite happy with that fish, of course. And uh, we're really going to go for a big five now. So try to find at least three more fish over 90 here um, so we can get that top five. If everything goes the right way we want it, we even might be a bit... It might go a long way. We'll see. Yeah. yeah. Go on. Oh, big one. Yeah. Good one. Oh, oh, oh. It's oh, not oh. a big one, but might be 75. Good, 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 good. That yeah, was not bad. Oh, keep it in the water. Oh, that's a lean fish. Long and lean. It might be 75. Cool. No, it's 80 something. Okay, okay. You're safe. Good job. Good job. <laughs> so another fish that is uh, good for our top five. Just inhaled his fly. Yeah, really skinny fish. Doesn't matter. Yeah. <laughs> 80, 80, is it two? Yeah, 82. That's good for our top five. Yeah, great start for episode two. Yeah, third cast. Yeah. After report. That's great. Lean, skinny one, but that's like we like them now. Yeah. <laughs> Let's catch some more. Good job, man. <laughs> She's gone. Give me some knuckles, man. Good job. Yes. Exactly what we needed. That's a nice start for Team Vision. Good job. 
Team Elix Gunky with Frederick and Manuel are on the move to a new spot, an area where they hope to increase their number points and top 5. They fished really good before the report but are still almost 20 fish behind Giga.nu and more than 20 centimeters behind Leech on the top 5. So they need to do something in order to change this. So we just arrived in a new spot. Yeah, we really expect to increase uh, our number. Um, we have some uh, potential uh, big one in the middle. Not really the massive and heavy one, but long one. So uh, let's cross a finger and execute this properly. This is a really big bay. It's clear water. We have lots of weed all over the place. So uh, we need to change bait to lighter colors, not so strong colors. Yeah, because not so aggressive. The other place was more muddy, so that's why. Too strong color. Now I will put on a more natural bait, more natural colors. This is a 20 centimeter Dexty Shad. Uh, and I put on 11 grams jig head. So this will be really good in this uh, clear water, I think. Yeah. We are on top of the grass, <laughs> on this spot. Now we just need to have our baits over it, not get stuck to it. Yep. Fish on. That's your leader. That's your leader, please. Oh. That's your leader touch. Whoop, whoop. Well, this ain't working now. Uh, no. We don't get the numbers. We don't get the decent pikes, so we need to change. Uh, I'm gonna change the spot to where we have really good pikes. Uh, uh, during training, we had followers that was really big, so we can even be compete with Vision on their nice pikes. So that, that's what we're gonna do. Yeah, let's give it a go and see what happens because this is not working. Two more casts. When you look at the result, it's so open. You can uh, take all the three points because it's uh, six hours left today. And uh, in the afternoon, it's gonna pick up some wind and some clouds will come in as well. So we are positive uh, for the afternoon today. Nej, that was så du stora ja. var det var ju stora jävlar. Kasta ut igen. Åh, den var ju så fucking stor. Kolla den tog jävla fucking padden. Jag står och tittar. Åh, den där var stor. Den där behövde vi. Oh, den var långt, långt, långt över metern. Fuck har vi så jävla oflyt för. Vi hade krossat om vi hade krokat varenda jävla fisk. It's never fun to lose a nice fish. And to do it under such pressure in Fly vs Jerk? Well, I think we all can imagine the feeling. But hey Alex, at least I have some good news for you. Instead of throwing away that broken gator gum, bring it to the sport fishing fairs and you will actually get paid in fish coins to recycle it with us in our display area. Won't bring back that big fish for you, but you know, at least we're doing something right and maybe it will provide good karma for you in the future, if you believe in karma. Hey, that's not a pike, is it? It's a nice fish, but I think it's a pike for fishing. Yeah, I think so, yeah. Good take, boom, <laughs> put it back. Let's take a pike. Oh, yeah, I missed mine. Good, they are here. Oh, that's another one for the recycling bin. Make sure to bring that one for the grand finale of Fly vs. Jerk, Pierre. Oh, fish! Okay. They are here. Yeah, yeah. Can you put in the talon? Talon down, yeah? Yeah, talon down. Okay. Easy. Talon down. I get some flashback for this. This boat, kind of boat, you know, this is 90s for me, but it's it's hard. You can still fish bike, you know. <laughs> yeah, we have uh, uh, talon yeah. and uh, uh, not no minkota, but we have Pierre. Instead. I'm the minkota. Yeah, but I think we find some fish here. There are some pike, yeah. Couple yeah. of contact. The new hot spotted bullhead yeah. seems to work here too. I hopefully. We take a big one on this one. 
as you can see here, there's a, about a, a bowl, there's about deeper areas with lots and lots of bait fish. And what the pike likes to do is that they like to eat here and then go up on these shallow banks. So this is what we're going to do, try to find the big ones here. And usually if it's a, a bite, it's usually a good one. So uh, they're there or they're not, but let's go for it. Now it's time for gator in our own color zombie perch. Really good lure and really, really good color. Works everywhere. Now, fish. In a second now, there will be a strike. You ready? Yeah, I'm ready. I told you. I told yeah, you. Yeah, but that was on your rod. Ah! You missed one? Yeah. Thank you. I got back pain from that. From what? From the strike. There's one coming after. Oh, no, god damn, what? Fish on, fuck it. Fish on. Yeah. yeah. Maybe that's my dunkle. dunkle. Yeah. Ah. Lida? No, I don't have it. Oh, fuck. <laughs> Fish on. Yeah, good. And now the leader. Now the leader. Thank you. There are ball, four numbers. That's the key. Maybe. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah, the Dera ball is kind of the short version of the Dunkel. This one has been eating too much. It's really fat. And the tail is really, really aggressive in the movement. Very, very small bait but very, very uh, powerful in, uh, in the vibration. So to search is a really good tool and your fish are really, really shallow. So it's very easy to go above the grass. Look at this. Whoa! <laughs> <laughs> I was talking well, we're too talking. fast. Yeah. <laughs> you want me to take the leader? Yep. You. Ah, leader touch. You see on the Dera ball, you have this uh, line through system that is really cool because uh, your small bait is not damaged. And then after you have a pin like this, you can just plug it back in the direction you want exactly. So it's very easy. Now a sicoso. <laughs> <laughs> now we are talking. Now we're talking. Yes, we do. Touch a little. Oh yeah. We found the good backwaters and now we are picking up in numbers and uh, hopefully we can keep going like this. This is fun. Hopefully we get past uh, Giger Punkt now. And that's our plan. Great action there by Team Elix Gunky. Team Giger.nu, better watch the number point. Further south, Team Ray Marine have had a slow morning with clear skies and no wind. But now the conditions are finally starting to look better and they're on their way to a new spot with high potential for big fish. Let's see what happens. We arrived to the new spot now and it looks uh, much better in the weather. We have more wind and uh, some clouds. Looking good for, for this drift, drift down the weed line. So let's see. Oh, fish on! It's a big one! Oh, oh yeah, yeah, yeah! Yes! Oh, nice! Good victory! So nice! <laughs> That's a hundred plus. It's a seven kilo. You saw the strike? Yeah. <laughs> so awesome. Mm, I like. <laughs> really happy. So nice. We need this fish. That's a great fish for Team Ray Marine. Very close to one meter. Well deserved. 99 centimeters. Look at this beauty. A good pike, a good strike. You should, should have seen the strike. It just killed the tail on the surface. And look at it. <laughs> That's a mean looking pike, weighing in at 6.24 kilos and 99 centimeters, caught by Per Chanström on a homemade tailbait. This fish will take them one step closer to the top five point, and they now have 258 centimeters with three fish on the board. A few more fish like this, and Team Ray Marine may get dangerous today. <laughs> yes! We need that, Victor. 
Perfect. Let's catch some more. <coughs> I was just reeling in the bait and uh, yeah, the pike just smashed the bait uh, just under the surface and uh, the whole fish were, were showing in the air. So it was super cool take. You know, I can pay like one million for that bite. So <laughs> it was really nice. It was nice. Yeah, let's catch <coughs> another one. We Absolutely. need more. Yeah, it's one o'clock and it's uh, time for lunch and we have had some okay fishing. And as you can see, I had a small accident with the one pike and we just did a live show. So if you want to watch that one, just click link. Somewhere yep, I got here. one. Fish on. Oh. Need a net? No. I have, this is fish number four for this hour, I think. We don't even have to click them because we're not going for the numbers. We are out of that game, so we are going to focus on top five and getting big ones only. Q81. Two more good sized fish and we are fighting for top five point. We need them, we're gonna get them. Yeah, it's better fish. <coughs> nah, no. Ah, but no. it's, it's, but it's okay. long. Yeah, it's for the slow. top five, it's good. <laughs> Spotted bullet, change, boom, first cast. <laughs> we have it. I was fishing with another color, a little bit more clear, and I uh, switched with a uh, Spotted bullet, boom, first cast, fish. So. I love this color, it's, I don't know. Oh, what is a really good, good strike here. They are Great. inside here. Relax, Bobby. It is 83. Yeah, 83, put it back. Nice fish. Bye bye. Yeah, the place uh, we fish today in the archipelago here, they look the same more or less everywhere. So it's really hard to to pick one area more than, more than another. So you have to really cover a lot of water, try different spots. And if you're lucky, you hit, the, you hit the right one. And so far now we have, we find since the last, I think, half an hour, uh, a nice spot, you know, we have lots of rocks and it looks like the fish are really on the rocks. So we keep hammering that place. You can see there's a lot of rocks everywhere. And uh, I just lost one like the cast before. So we need, it would be nice to have like oh. 10 fish there. I missed one. Okay, just and Stefan just missed one, so he's fish there, because I cast on the right, he cast the other side, so... Boom! Fish? Yeah. They are here. Outside the rock. No, it's better. Better? No, I don't think so. No. The action is picking up for CWC fishing team, and they have gained 10 fish in a very short period of time. If they continue like this, they might actually have a chance to snatch the number point at the end of the day. Jigar.nu, watch your back. We have find the school of fish here. Hopefully it's gonna continue. Bye bye. Keep on rocking now, Pierre. Take some fish. They were on the rock. You see, we're outside now. Nothing. They were on this. I think we have to go inside. I know. I know. I don't feel all that secure about our numbers, Bjorn. What do you think? Oh, uh, no. Oh, come on, I cannot do that. <coughs> well, if I... What just happened? <laughs> well... Oh, come on. This is my day today. Uh, I missed so many. Uh, and I have, um, what can I say? One of those days. We have still have a couple of hours more, so we will see. But if it continues like this, we're going to lose the, the number point. That's for sure. Uh, but just stick in there. and. Well, actually, guys, you could tell us. How are we doing on the number points? Is someone close or are we good? Should we go for a big one? Because you have the answers, we don't. But jokes aside, uh, we said something around 80 fish, maybe towards 100 would make us feel more safe or more secure. And we are pretty far from that. So it um, doesn't feel all that secure, no. Not too far away, Frederick and Manuel are also dealing with the same tough conditions, with no wind and clear skies. However, while the fishing went dead for TeamGiga.nu, 
for some reason, the action is picking up for Elix Gunky. There is always a key to activating the bite. <laughs> Such a tit. Fish on! <laughs> Dab! Oh, lead attach! Yo, lead attach! Thank you, my friend. Do you see the pike? Do you see the pike? Attacking? Oh, yeah! It's coming! Oh. coming. <laughs> <laughs> that was so cool! Oh, that's awesome! Oh! Yeah! Lead attach! Lead attach, Touch leader. <laughs> <laughs> the best it can be. Yeah. <laughs> uh, we spot this one from like 10, 50 meters away, and it went for my dunkel. Really cool take. Let's measure it. This gonna help us, man. 88. We are in the game, 88. Yeah. Yeehaw. This is a game changer. Yes. Really nice. Whoa. Okay, Frederick. Thank you for nothing again. Let's keep on doing this. Okay. I'm on a mission, a money vision. I don't do the penny pinching. I'm tuning out these haters, suspicious, and I don't listen at it. Man, want my attention so bad. Put my foot on the gas, free pass, and then I laugh. I'm a jerk. Only a few loves in my life. My shoe collection, my reflection, and my wife. And I'm nice. Put some new wheels on that truck, new grill on the front, new piping in them guts. Okay, go. It's so freaking cool to fish in such a shallow water. I mean, it's yeah, it's no more than one meter depth. And uh, we see the pike following, chasing. You have a big V behind. I mean, this is, this is pure addiction. It's almost as top water fishing. But uh, really fishing that shallow with swim bait, it's so cool. Finally, we both use the same uh, the same bait, the dunkel. And uh, here the cool thing is, instead of having a, a loose treble on the back, we have just a double. And this double has a special housing here, so you can hold it. And uh, like this, little touch. Like this, you can uh, really fish very shallow yeah. in the grass without any problem. And you see my bait is now starting to get old, but uh, still working. And here you have a rolling swivel, so the, it's really cool. And this bait uh, has been out fishing all the rest. We have been having some good results on, uh, on the G-Bump as well. But every time we go shallow screw, because it's so shallow, that's the only, almost the only thing you, we can do. We cannot speed up. The, the, the bait is going to go fl sideways, flat, and doesn't swim. With an internal weight, like uh, with this bait, you have an internal weight inside, and it's much more stable, in fact, than a jig head. That's the reason those swim bait are interesting, is they are very, very stable at very slow retrieve or faster retrieve. So it's much more uh, convenient in this case. So what do you think, Marcus? Should we work ourselves slowly in now? Yeah, we spent Take a few this hours line. there. Yeah. And we didn't have that much action on the Rocky Island, so no. I think the fish are moving more in, so I think we should do the same. Yeah. Oh yeah! Should we go for numbers? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the weather really activated the small ones now. Tiny! So now we're gonna work our way back in and try to find more and bigger fish from there. At least two big ones. At least two ones, yeah. Yeah, the northern wind is uh, picking up really good now. And this morning, as you can see, it was really, really calm. So hopefully these fish have been much more activated now and, uh, and uh, really want to feed and play with us. So, so this is probably the last cove and then we're going to head for, 
Oh, oh. <laughs> that was not the top five fish. <laughs> I heard it again. Oh, 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 I have it on, that's why. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for that. <laughs> Ooh, look at the monster, Marcus. Yeah, we need bigger ones. If these guys are here, big ones aren't. <laughs> so, we uh, did the outskirts here. Not with success. Uh, two fish that was okay, yeah. that on the top five. And the fish has a tendency to migrate depending on what time of the year and where the bait fish is. So we have been out looking for, uh, for the fish that's actually standing on the summer places, these rocky points and, uh, and shallow bays and stuff like that. So we think that the fish is starting to move closer to where they stand in the fall. Uh, they should already be in here, but it's been such a warm summer. So they have kind of not really decided where to be yet. But we're gonna go in and grind where uh, Marcus had the big fish in the morning and uh, this way we can catch a big one. Let's do this. Bloody, bloody ton. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, if you look at the Ray Marine Axiom unit here, uh, you can see that we have marked out where we are fishing right now. It's because it's a really great spot. And uh, when we are cruising with the boat, we are always mapping up the places to see the depths and uh, the weeds and everything. And here on the side uh, vision, you can see all the grass and on the so now you can see the grass as well. So that's always good to check. Oh, fish on! Anything? <laughs> no, it's, it's a small one. Okay. And all these kind of tools help us when we are fishing. So check out the Ray Marine Axiom unit. And the kiss for the pike. Thank you. <laughs> Strike. No, you're not gonna. Oh, fuck! Oh, it was so big. Another 100. Oh shit! I lost it. Oh, it took on a so short line, so I, I couldn't do anything. It was a really good fish. We Another, need that fish. Another 100. Yeah, could be more. <sighs> yeah, it could be more. You saw the strike? <laughs> yeah, I saw it. What should you do? It's fishing. Just oh, when you strike shit. the fish on that short line. I saw the weed. You can just set the hook and hope for the best. I saw the weed <clears throat> move. You saw? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I saw the whole thing. Oh, fuck. That was a really, really nice fish. Oh. For sure, 100. Yeah, absolutely. Could have been bigger as well. Could have been eight plus. Yeah, absolutely. You can't catch them all. The fish on. Fish on, nice. Good? Maybe. Ooh. <laughs> maybe 75, maybe not. Good, Nico. Oh, it's crazy. Yeah, it's over 80. 81. 81. Oh, nice. On uh, the spinnerbait. On the spinnerbait. Good fishing, mate. And now we are closer, the other teams. Yeah, we are closing in, yeah, that's yeah. right. And we release this beauty. Yeah, we need that fish. <laughs> and don't underestimate Team Visha with two two really good fish if they get three like 80s then they are ahead of us so we need to get one one or two meter pikes at least if we get two i think we are going to take one point but we have seen two big fish yeah uh, oh. Ja, men den är förbättring tror jag. En 83. Kanske. Okej, nu då. 1, 2, 3. Ja, men den verkar gilla guld. 86. Ja. Oh. Bra. I just changed the lure for more gold inside of it. And I think the pikes seems like they, they like it better than brighter colors. Mm. 
Ta det lugnt. Ja, den gungar mycket med huvudet. Men... Ja, 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 men det där är förbättring. Ja. Kom igen, dra, dra upp den. Nu kommer den. Nu kommer den. Åh, oh, yes! Uh, jag är lossad. Uh. Team Leech are catching one big fish after the other and are slowly increasing their top five length, making it even harder for the other teams to catch up. The six. Okay. Nice big pike. Come on, Alex. This is mojo for us. Oh, that's good. It's a nice one. 96. But it's fat. It's very fat. It's not bigger than uh, uh, Team Vision, so we're gon not going to weigh it. It's around the... six kilo, that one. Yeah, but it's around yeah six kilo or something. So let's make a release on it. Gold is Gold. the thing. Two o'clock. We have seven fish in this hour, which is not enough. I say let's go for hundred. It's not gonna be easy. I know. But there's a point. Let's give this a couple of more casts, and then I'm saying let's move to the to the first spot. See if we can pick up some numbers and come back here. Hopefully the wind will pick up by then. All right? Yeah. Two times. I'll show you something, guys. I noticed a couple of casts ago. If you look at the leader, it has been damaged. This is something that needs to be taken care of right away. Because this could lose us a big fish. So when the floor carbon looks like this, either change it or make it shorter or whatever. But don't fish with it like that, right? Tip of the day. Oh well, the conditions for us has, has not been for the best. Uh, when, you, when you're fishing clear water and uh, there's no wind, it gets really, really difficult. So, numbers right now is really hard, really hard. We will try for an hour and see. Otherwise, I think we will try to get a little bit bigger ones. Team Giga.nu are starting to get worried about the number point and they have all right to be so. Their fishing has slowed down a lot, while CWC Fishing Team and Team Ilex Ganke are gaining fast in numbers. Now Stefan and Pierre are only 7 pike behind Giga.nu, and the bite is on. Here they are. No, it's a small one. But it's lots of fish there. Yeah, yeah. Just missed one just before. Fish? Yeah, yeah. They are at the rock. Put back. And we really miss the minkota. We don't have any wind anymore and we don't want to spook the fish. So we're just drifting here. Long one. But with the minkota we can go around the rocks and fish more effective. Boom! That's a better one, I think. Better? I, I don't know. It was a good take. Yeah, go on the leader straight on yeah, this it's, one. It's a long one. Okay. Okay. Not so long. Nice fish. Okay. Bye bye. So we just move in back into the uh, shallow where the river is coming out here. So kind of the swamp situation here. And uh, this is a place where the fish go later on the season. So this is a place where they spend usually twice a year, really late in the fall and really early in the, in the season when they're supposed to spawn. And this, the bottom here is really soft and we usually test it with the, the, the rod tip because when, when you have hard bottom, the, there's a lot of these places in here where it's sand and we hardly doesn't, we don't catch any pike over the sand bottom at all. We only catch them over the clay bottom. And that's because it gets so much warmer in there and also the bait fish likes to stay on the, on the clay bottom. But if you want to target the perch in there, you definitely want to find the sand bottom. And then uh, we were out just testing all these summer places and uh, then they want to have deeper water around so they can move out in colder water and then search the points for bait fish and also there are a lot of oxygen in those places so so now when we're looking between these two places uh, we're actually stopping to see if the where the fish is a little bit if it's all the way out or all the way in today we have found 
fish in both conditions. And that's the problem in, in September in the archipelago, because the fish has not really gathered up. They can be all over the place. So it's very challenging and really cool. Yeah. <laughs> this is a place for big fish. Oh, look at this cute one. Soon you're gonna be 12 kilos, but not yet. You see the pike? You see the pike attacking? Oh, yes. It's coming! Oh. coming. <laughs> <laughs> that was so cool! <laughs> oh, that's awesome. Oh, yeah. Need a touch. Need a touch, please. Come on. Oh, yeah, need a touch. This was really, really angry. We are fishing on 60 centimeters water. And uh, this caught, I saw it coming. It was a really nice take. And uh, again on the dunkel. Really good bait right now. Let's take another one. Change the sunglasses. This is because the, now the, it's more cloudy. So I usually change for a light yellow lens. So these are fully po polarized, dusk. So if you haven't tried them yet, this is a very nice second sunglasses to have for your fishing. So check them out. Team Vision are back at the big fish place, grinding for two more good sized fish for their top five. Oh, big one, big one, big, 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 big. Beautiful, beautiful. <clears throat> yep, I need to go in the front, guys. Oh, it wasn't big, but it was skinny at least. <laughs> Ah, it wasn't that big. It's a good one. Yeah, it's 75 at least. Yeah. I, just, I don't want to get it into the... To the... Yeah. Wait, 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 don't worry. I have two hooks in it, so... Yeah, good. Good job, man. Oh, I thought it was big. The sh hood shapes were really good. Uh, ah, but but it's, it's, it's over 80. Yeah, it's over 80, yeah. yeah definitely, yeah. definitely. Whew. Good. Ah, that's what we need. Skinny one, doesn't matter. <laughs> <laughs> oh, they don't, they that's only, good. Yeah, it's good. But then we just need to work these, hour, these areas for three hours now. Yeah, yeah. Because basically we need only one, one more fish. Yeah, yeah. Well done. Thank you. Ooh. We're running the skinny girls now. Yeah. I'd say 84. Yeah, I think so too. No, it's 86. 86. Skinny girl? Exactly what we needed. <laughs> <laughs> Let's let her go. Bye bye. Go home. Thank you for the fight. I thought it was bigger because of the head shake was really yeah. good. When, well, it when it came to yeah, surface, it looked like, like a big fish. That's 95 plus. <laughs> yeah, 86. Bloody hand. Good. Good. We had three, six, seven. Three, six, seven. So, one more fish. And then we have these in top five. Yeah. And I think last hours we're gonna go for the big ones. For the big ones. Yeah. Good job. Four approved fish now for Team Vision, which gives them a total of 367 centimeters. If they just catch a pike of 80 centimeters in length, they will pass Team Leech and steal the top five point for them. Very well, fish Niklas and Marcus. So this is a fly that tied just uh, recently here. We actually put a, a hair called a Nayat in it. And then we have a head of predator dubbing. And then this is actually the large dragon tail with a stinger. Always when I fish um, tails, I have a stinger because there's so many times they go for the tail like this. And if you don't have a stinger, you lose a lot of fish. And this Nayat hair is really working now. It just swims perfectly. Let's go 110 now. <laughs> oh, I love the strikes. Yeah. Yeah. The fun part about this is this is not normally our fishing. We're always fishing for, you know, the 75 minimum in, in, compet in competition. So this is not our fishing, but it's, it's good fun. It's really good fun. <laughs> Oh, that was a strike. Yeah, yeah. Good one, Jacob. Finally. Whoa, 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 whoa. 
And I'll help you. I can, yeah, just touch it for me, would you? You get it? Yeah. <laughs> what do you think? I don't have your arms. <laughs> oh, here it is. Thank you. There it is. So, if you guys fish uh, in places with a lot of uh, weeds uh, and reeds, and you get stuck a lot with the treble hooks, you can rig your picture junior like this. Uh, you rig it with an offset hook. It is, it is fairly hard to, uh, to hook a fish like that. So what we do is we make a single hook, single stinger. You just take a wire and just put it behind the offset hook in the back. It sticks up like that. You don't get stuck that much. Uh, you can get stuck sometimes, of course, but uh, it helps a lot. And the fish that I just caught was hooked on the stinger. So if I wouldn't have the stinger, I wouldn't have the fish. Tip of the day, take care. Hopefully we get oh, five more. Fish. I have one. Oof, good take. Good take. Do you want Oof. me for the leader? Ah, maybe you do it. He's actually the fly guy who likes to do the leader touch. Yeah, I know. <laughs> yeah, okay. Thank you. It's so fun. So many years, 30 years of pike fishing and still when you had that bite. Oh, it's so nice. Super nice. Speed up a little bit. Yeah. It's longer this one. Yeah. <laughs> ah. Yes. Oh. Yeah, that's a long one. Nice. Measuring this one? Oh, it's 88. 88. Nice fight on this one. Very strong. So now we just start to get some uh, nice bite, so it's good. And for the number, I don't really know, but uh, depends how slow the fishing they have and ah, it depends, really depends. Because for us it was up and down, so I imagine for them it's the same. Maybe they have some slow moment and they catch two, three like this, like us. So we'll see, but uh, we have, I think, two hours left. If we can manage 15 more fish, what do you think, Stefan? 15, 20 would be nice. Oh, yum. The inte clo. So it's uh, it was just the time for the our report. Oh, I missed one again. So you have nine and I have four. So it's good. This is good hour. It's, so far, it's the best. Is it? Yeah, thirteen in one hour is, is the best we get. Okay, right, let's catch them. So it's four o'clock, time to make a report. So we have 54, 11 fish in the last hour. We have a good average per hour, it's not bad. We still need to increase the top five if we want to have a chance to yeah. get a point. So we're gonna move. Yeah, I think so. Just drop the numbers yeah. and concentrate on the top five. Yeah, we should do that. Yeah. But that was not a bad move. It was fun to catch so much yeah. and you increase with the Oh, fish. Oh, again. <laughs> cool. Can you take this leader, please? Yep. Leader touch. Thank you. Oh, fish on. Okay, nice. Okay, good. Can you touch a leader on the way? Yeah. Nope. Thank you. It's um, done. This. this is fun, but we need to quit. <laughs> <laughs> we need to go. We need to quit this fun. Guys, stop biting. So it's two more. So, two more. Okay, let's go. Okay, we need to move fast. Well, look who's coming. Alex Ganke is coming there. He's always driving like maniac, so. <laughs> yeah, that's him. Heading straight for us. We need to have that one fish. Yeah. I don't want Tim Leeds to have any points today. <laughs> <laughs> Just one bite what we need. Yeah. That's gonna suck if we can't get a... 75 centimeter one. <laughs> I mean, what the fuck? 75 centimeters, man. <laughs> oh, no. 
one. Yeah, it's oh, fuck, it's big, it's big, it's big, it's big, 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 big. Uh, where is it? I got it out in any case. Uh, come on. Here we go there. Bauer is hooked up to something heavy. Maybe this is the fish that they are missing to steal the top five point away from Leech. What's happening, Niklas? Give us an update. Yeah, I think I have a nice fish on here, but it ran straight into the weed line here. Let's go and see if we can see if it's still out. there or not. This is looking good fish. Yeah, it did. Yeah. Oh, it wasn't that big though. It's not big here. Yeah, it wasn't that big. <laughs> ah, it was a small. Yeah. Fuck, he was fighting good. Yeah. <laughs> oh, shit. But it takes the first run straight, straight to the weed. Straight into the weed. <laughs> Oh, I thought it was a bigger fish. Shit. Okay. Oh. No. 67. 70 centimeters. Almost. 90 plus now. We need you. Well, we only need one, one more fish. Yeah, definitely. Let's get it. Ah. So this is a tribute to my former Fly vs. Joke partner. This is his fly. This is the Danish dynamite with a silver dragon tail. It's a one hell of a fly. So give me a meter one for Thomas. Thomas, we count on you now. Yeah. <laughs> Hello Team Vision. I understand you're fishing the Danish dynamite. However, it's not only the fly, it's also how you fish it. And this particular fly, it must be fished by a Dane. So thanks for trying and best of luck, guys. You see that pocket? Yeah. Okay, Per, it's one hour and 10 minutes left. And uh, what should we do now? Yeah, we need to catch uh, at least one more over 75 to yeah. get the last fish for the top five. <laughs> we need to hammer. Should right we hammer place. this place or should we go to the, the first place we have good fishing? I think we should fish uh, maybe 30 minutes here and try to okay. catch a nice pike. And after that we can decide if we want to stay or try it out the spot mm -hmm. where we know we, we can caught a really big fish. Okay. What do you think? Yeah, see. maybe 20 minutes, I think. Okay, let's do it. Okay. Come on, Victor. Catch a big one. Yeah, we need this the bike now. It's five o'clock and this has turned into a crazy numbers game between CWC fishing team and Giga.nu. CWC had a slow start and were more than 20 pike behind Giga.nu at lunch, but they have stepped up their game and they're only three pike away now. The teams don't know the result of the other teams and now Jigar are about to make a decision I don't think they would have made if they knew what CVC were up to. One hour left of fishing. Um, so now we go for the big one. Uh, we have one more hour so big lures a little bit deeper and now I'm gonna find it or her. One hour. Let's go. Let's go. Now we have last hour. We have fished this spot now for like eight, eight hours, no, seven hours. Uh, we lost the big ones. I don't think this is enough. So we we want to change uh, the high 80, 80s. We have a 86 and 87, and we will go down and, and try to. We can stay here and maybe we catch a big one the last hour, or maybe we don't. But it's important to defend the, the five longest fish, and I don't think four five four five five is enough. Uh, so hopefully we can take up this to like four sixty five or something. Then uh, I am happy. And if somebody has beat us, then then they have did a better job than us. So we can't do much more than that. Come on now, man. Let's get that ninety five centimeter fish. I'll do my best. Good. Fuck, they just turn off the fish, man. Yeah, nothing is happening. Yeah. How hard it can be to get a one fish over 75 centimeters? How hard it can be to get one fish? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God. Yeah. Yes! It's over 75. It's over 75. <laughs> Good. Good. <laughs>
<laughs> one meter from the boat. I think we have, yeah, this is definitely over 75. We have our oh. five fish for top five now. <laughs> Good, Victor. Good fishing. Oh, so nice. And I hold, yeah, there we have it. It's 90. Okay. Good, Victor. Beautiful pike, Victor. Yeah, we need it. Yeah, 90 one centimeters. Yeah, and one hour left. Yeah. <laughs> now we can upgrade the 75. The pike is beautiful. Yeah. Really good. Pike. Good fishing. Finally, Team Ray Marine caught their fifth approved fish for the top five, which gives them a total of 429 centimeters. Good, but still 26 centimeters behind Team Leech. So now we have our five top fish. And yeah, we're gonna go all in to upgrade so many fish we, that we can. At least the 75, we need, we need to upgrade, so. And yeah, let's see. Oh, fish on! Nice. It's fish. a small one, but it's a fish. Oh. And lead a touch. So now we are back on one of our first spots. We know this one deliver a little bit bigger fish. So the target right now is ready to increase the top five by catching a 80 or 90 or a meter fish. <laughs> oh, this is so much fun. Bye-bye. Awesome. Uh, yes. Fish number 81. Uh, I don't know if it's enough as far as numbers go, but we, uh, we kind of chickened out of the all-in uh, for big fish uh, tactics since uh, we really want that point. Thank you. Yes. Now every pie can mean the difference between getting the number point or not. Which can mean the difference between winning the whole fly versus jerk or not. If CWC fishing team lands this one, they're at the exact same number up, as Giga.nu. Up. Yep. Yeah. Okay. Lots of contact in a very small area around the rocks. Yeah. Oh, I missed one. But you see, we, we missed a lot of strike. It's crazy. The, 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 the take are really fast. Doo -doo. Same spot where we spot lock. Our spot lock. <laughs> kind of. Ooh, fish. Yeah. You know it's a numbers game when it takes two seconds from bite to leader touch. Good job, Pierre. Now we have 20 minutes to go and uh, we're still missing fish, but we, we catch some, so it's, uh, it's cool, it's fun. She's like, I, I don't expect to get that number today when the start was pretty slow. Yeah, it was not so slow. They, they, ah, they bite, yes, uh, nibble. Yeah. We had so many bites. Yeah. Now they they take. That's good. Oh, I missed one. Jesus. Oof. I have it. Okay. Another one. It's crazy. You know, we fish only for small fish, but it's so exciting when it's for a competition. Like, you know, we are like a totally different uh, way to fish, you know, the different feeling and everything is like super exciting. For a fish like they are like 75, 80, but uh, yeah, you, you want to, to put them in a boat, so it's really fun. Let's get one more. And if fish number 90 doesn't want to come up, we'll see if 89 is enough, but... Come on, Pierre. Yeah, yeah. Wait. Give me. Give me, give me, give me, give me. Give me. Okay. Fix okay. that. Thank I put you. the talon down. <laughs> <laughs> Look at the marks. Life is beautiful. Good sunset, good pike fishing. So exciting. Okay, we need to put this back. Yeah. Good, Jacob. Numero 90. 12 minutes left. Oh, it's a nice one. Uh, okay. You have it? Yeah, it's a long it's one. It's a long one, yeah. 
Oh, it's a bike nose. Yeah, it's a bike nose. Yeah. Uh, this is probably the last fish for this day. I don't know, maybe 90 or so. Number 91. Okay, we'll let it back. Come on. Last three minutes, I'm changing to a Pigshad Junior. Uh, hopefully getting one or two more pikes. Three minutes left. <laughs> Almost. <laughs> so one minute left. Looks like we're not gonna get the fifth fish for the top five. So then we are not competing about the top five point at all. But that was a shame actually, because when I had that last 80 centimeter fish there, I thought we would we had two and a half hours to go, and the fish just turned off. We haven't had a bite for two, the last two hours, I think. Whew, okay. Done for today. Yeah, it's over. Whew, it was crazy. Crazy. It's been so slow and some spots oh, like I crazy. <laughs> but I don't know how many fish we lost. This is totally crazy. Over and out. Yeah, but I think we, we fight to the end. Yeah, yeah. No we, sleep, we no. No, no sleep for 24 hours. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Just look at my arm. This is a couple of strike there. <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay. Come on, buddy. Well done. It's always the same. Every competition. Until the last second. Yeah. Man. Yeah. Welcome to Flavia Suja. <laughs> that was a good day. Yeah, it was really fun. Yeah, we have some yeah, really incredible cool. side fishing. That yeah. was so, so cool. Okay, it's uh, Team Gunky Legs. We have a number of 56 fish and the top five 420 no fish on the scale it's a marcus from team vision we have 22 fish our top five is 367 and the biggest one 9.02 okay this is par from team ray marine we have a total amount of 17 pikes and our top five, 429. And our biggest, 6.24. This is Team Leech, Marcus speaking. We have a total amount of 22 pikes, 455 is the top five. And the biggest is 6.5. Okay, this is CVC fishing team. Uh, we are uh, number 91 fish, uh, the big five, 423, and the biggest fish, 4.3. Okay, this is Jacob from Jigar.nu. Uh, we have a total of 92 fish. Really? <laughs> <laughs> the biggest five is 252 and uh, the largest fish is still 5.6 kilos. Yeah. Uh, I'm sorry, Truman. <laughs> yeah, but that, that was really good work. What? And Niklas, stop laughing behind. I can hear you. <laughs> well done. Good fight. Well, well done, guys. Big grats, Jigar, big grats. Congrats, guys. <laughs> well fished. Okay, bye-bye. 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 Oh, man, one fish. Yeah, That's one crazy. Fish. So tight. Yeah. Super tight. Yeah, but it's like this. It's, yeah, it's, they yeah, fish, yeah, they yeah, fish yeah. super good. Uh, we yeah. try our best. And uh, also we lost an hour. We can't uh, blame that, but, but no. one hour more, then we should have a couple of more fish. Of course, but... But yeah, it doesn't yeah, matter. I'm quite proud what we did. Yeah, yeah, yeah. With this boat. I mean, with, we have with no this, trick. Nothing. We had super fun. Yeah. They are so good at, at competition. Good work for, for uh, Digger. Yeah. That is unbelievable! <laughs> <laughs> That's unbelievable. You know that I changed. I changed yeah. the pig shed unit. The last, yeah, the last, the, the, the one, three minutes. Leave the touch. This, yeah, this is. Oh, holy cow! Come on, we got the one point. 
Oh yeah! She got that and you on the scoreboard. Big congrats awesome. to, to Vision for the, the nice bike. And big congrats to Alex and Marcus for uh, the five longest. Yeah, that's a, that's a really good uh, result. Yeah. I said 450, they had 455, uh, which is really good. I'm uh, not surprised though, because Alex can find big fish in a bathtub. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> One point, Alex! It's important point. It was very important. Booyaka! And now we are going for a lake and river, and that's our favorite ones. Okay. Yeah. yeah. We did have fun yeah. anyway. So it's that really was nice. cool, and we were in the game for this. No point today, but yeah. so much fun to find to find those fish and uh, sightseeing. Yeah. Sightseeing is the best. Is really nice. Top water and sightseeing. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> CBC had 91, and you got had 92 pikes. Yeah. So you guys took the number points. <laughs> With one point. <laughs> With wipe one pike. But look, listen to this. We had 429. Yeah. And the pike that I missed was easy over 100. Yeah, absolutely. If I caught that pike. Yeah, 20 centimeters plus. Yeah. But, but that's fishing. Yeah. We didn't take any points. No. They, they do a great job. <laughs> congrats, Igar. Uh, congrats, Leech. And uh, congrats, Vision. Yeah. But tomorrow, in the next episode, we're gonna <coughs> break you all. Yeah. One point, man. One point. <laughs> <laughs> aye, 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 aye. In the day we, we yeah. were really afraid of. Yeah. Not they got good numbers. 92, 92, 91. but that, that sucks. <laughs> <laughs> oh, they must have lost one fish, man. Oh, that sucks. But one point for us. Good job. Boom. You want to say no? That's no, 20 no, no. long. <laughs> <laughs> Tomorrow we, we go for five big fish or maybe a really big fish. Yeah. So, so we're going to have a new tactic. We're going to leave this small fish and the numbers. And from now, it's the big fish yeah. who count. Yeah. Good job. Yeah, today. good job. Okay. Tomorrow, we go for two points. See you in episode three. We're going for two or three points. No, two, two, points. two, points. two points. Two points. Two points. Not the numbers. Two points. So now we are in damn hurry. We have to get boat up and we're heading to Finland. It's a long drive. The Finnish Lapland, isn't it? Finnish Lapland, yeah. Interesting fishing tomorrow. Stay tuned for episode three. It's yes. gonna be a blast. That's it for the day, ladies and gentlemen. We have an official result of the Archipelago Day. The number point goes to Giga.nu with a staggering 92 pike, beating CWC with only one fish. Vision made it all the way with their 9.02 kilo pike, which gives them the big fish point. And I must say, who needs a second fly team? Team Leach caught the five longest pike with a combined length of 455 centimeters, which gives them the top five point. The final score is that Vision gets one point, Giga.nu gets one point, Team Leach received one point for the first day in Fly vs Jerk 10. Tomorrow, all teams will need to change their water and fish in freshwater lakes, which will be extremely exciting to see. If you're not subscribing to the channel, now is a good time to hit that subscribe button and that notification bell because trust me, you don't want to miss the following episodes. Also, make sure to visit us at the Swedish Sport Fishing Fair in March where we will have the big finale of Fly vs Jerk where we screen episode 6, alright? You can also come into the display area of kanalgratis.se and meet the whole team and we will have the recycling station there. Bring your broken soft plastic lures, bitten in half, just bring them and we'll turn your trash into cash right there. We already are hearing some nice rumors about people bringing in tens of kilos of lures and that's just amazing. Please leave a comment and let us know which one is your favorite team and we read all your comments and we'll reply as many of them as possible of course. My name is Johan Rue, you're watching Fly vs Jerk 10. Hey guys, if you want a good fishing partner, don't take Stefan because he's useless. He's full of rock. Hey look, he's with his phone. Ah, do you look at the rock, Stefan? Huh? What? Yeah? You look at the rock? Look you look at, at the rock? rock? You check the bottom? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. It's perfect yeah. here. Huh? No problem No here. problem there. No problem. So a quick burger before Finland. 
Welcome to Haparanda. <laughs> <laughs> so tomorrow it's a lake day. Yep. We're excited. I think it's going to be really interesting fishing. That's going to be something completely different. You have never seen us do this. Yeah. Definitely never seen us do this. <laughs> and I really hope it works as good as it worked in pre-fishing. Pre yep. yep. So it's, it's going to be a really challenging day for us. Yep. But we have a chance to get one more point. Yeah, we have a chance to get a really big fish. Yeah. Big bikes in Finland.